Every one of those jokes was written for a kid audience because kids thought they were funny. Because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. And you're pawning it off as like, oh, hey. It was the just kids funny. Kids thought it was funny. Shut up, bro. That you're... was clearly an adult joke, bro, and you're lying. Yeah. Like, you're, you're just a garbage human being, <laughs> this bro. gaslighting us with Tebow from iCarly. <laughs> this isn't real, bro. That's the beginning clip right there. <laughs> I played Tebow on Nickelodeon's iCarly. Oh. I got to watch the Quiet On Set program. It's the bagel on a stick I guy. I to Dan to see if it was something that he'd be willing to discuss. I'm pleased to say that he said yes. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I, mean, I you really appreciate on, you nigga. reaching out and giving me the opportunity to talk to you. First off, Tebow didn't reach out to you, bucko. Clearly. <laughs> Let's not sit here and cap, buddy. We know damn well you were at home. The docuseries dropped. You're getting all these texts. Everybody like, you're caught. You're going to jail. It's over for you. You got nervous over here looking like the fat nigga from Toy Story 2. <laughs> you pulled out your phone out of your back pocket. And you made some calls. You said, who can, who can oh. I call? Can and I call, it was T-Bone. Can I call Spencer? Can I call Carly? They are like, we ain't fucking with you, weirdo. We remember what you did. You were like, damn. Who 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 did I not get oh, one over on? The only other adult. Yeah, on it was the, the, grown, the grown man. I ain't try that, nigga. Let me call him up. Yo, T-Bone, I got 20 stacks also, for you. also, Dan Schneider, why the fuck you out here looking like a fake head with fucking hair sewn into it? <laughs> what the fuck Dan Schneider doing there? <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to start off with? Absolutely. Watching over the past two nights was very difficult. To me. Difficult for you? Yeah, he's scary you going to prison. Right? <laughs> of course, that's difficult on him. <laughs> You've written hundreds of episodes. Thousands of jokes have been told. Yeah. But currently where we are, uh -huh. some people think that some of those jokes are inappropriate for children. Uh -huh. What do you think of that? All these jokes that you're speaking of, um, that the show covered over the past two nights, every one of those jokes was written for a kid audience because kids thought they were funny mm -hmm. and only funny, okay? Um, uh, while we're reading the details of his sex jokes, Schneider's habit of putting child actors in sexual sketches was established in all that in a move described by journalists as a cum shot joke for children. The Jamie Lynn Spears glue joke. You didn't see that joke? No. Well, they like squirted glue onto her in one of the shots and it hit her right in the face and onto her mouth and it definitely looked like a cum shot. Like it was very blatant. Gross. That's fucking weird. <laughs> oh, kids thought it was funny. You're talking about when you had Ariana Grande two hands stroking a potato and splashing water on herself saying i want the juice shut up bro and p and it's not even like oh it's a different time it's 20 years later you know no, why bro. at the time there was a reporter that said it was a cum shot joke for kids yeah they said that at the time nigga what are you dude 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 Is it possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? Mmm, I'm thirsty! <laughs> it's not possible! <laughs> this has been me in a video! Clearly an adult joke, bro, and you're lying. Yeah. You're a liar. Many years later, through their lens, and they're looking at them and they're saying, oh, you know, I don't think that's appropriate for, for a kid show. Mm -hmm. And I have no problem with that. If, if that's how anyone feels, let's cut those jokes out. Here we go with the fucking, uh, like... The non-apology. The non-apology, like, making less of... What's the word for it? When you... Minimizing. Yeah. Like, you're, you're just a garbage human <laughs> being, bro. gaslighting us with Tebow from iCarly. <laughs> this isn't real, bro. That's the beginning clip right there. <laughs> I was watching this Victorious episode the other day, and they, they had, like, a, a ending scene of Cat, 
and there was this one part where she was pouring water on herself. Yeah, yeah, bro, I seen and that like, one. But is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here? So there's no way you could get it stuck between a hamster's toes. Ah! I'm soaking wet. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Their parents were incentivized to be quiet in order to not ruin their child's career. Nah, y'all are bad parents, bro. Facts. I don't give a fuck about no career. Facts. My kid could live at home with me for the rest of my motherfucking life. The producer's I'm not letting somebody just molest them, bro. That's crazy. Allowed him to push the envelope. Schneider's style had a little bit of edge in it. It also really pushed the boundaries of sexualizing young Please, girls. Bro. The only thing Dan Schneider was edging was himself. This, this shit is crazy. About girls being slapped by sausages and wanting to be on the wood. So I think it's big for you to say with your work, mm -hmm. if it's viewed as that today. Why is Timo behaving upset but not being upset? Because he, he knows socially he should be upset, but he just got a million dollar check for this interview. So he's really having the time of his life right now. I would let that pressure get to me, which a good boss should never, ever do. So there specific things that you were doing? Sh sure, I would um, snap at people sometimes. Mm -hmm. I would be snarky when I could have given them a nicer answer. Um, I would not give people the time that they needed. I would be in too big a hurry to get on to the next thing I had to do. And Bro. watching that show, this is not nobody what we're about. is. Yeah, this, these are no one's concerns. They, they, this is what, what you're I'm describing is just a, a hard ass producer. This nigga's trying to minimize this. He's trying to take. He's trying to take accountability for the least problematic factors being raised. Bro, no one gives a fuck that you were rude to someone giving you your coffee. That's no one's fucking problem. We're talking about why do we have sex offenders on your sets? Multiple. Why was that? Why was that happening? Why were you, bro, I hate this. I really do. What the fuck is going on? Why is this guy not in prison right now? Sex offenders on set? How is that even, how did you, what? The parents weren't allowed on sets as their children were ushered around by production assistant? All right, y'all are shit parents, dude. Anyone signing off on that, bro, you're a bad, you're a, you don't care about your kid for real. Let's yeah. be honest. On one of those occasions, Bell, 15, woke up to Peck assaulting him. Jesus. The kick, this kick started a pattern of abuse <clears throat> continuing over a six month period that increased in severe, severity. Bell says he, re he realized he was trapped with no way out. The thought process from the series is you had the power to just write a joke and no matter what, it's going on TV. You just had that type of power. Is that true? The, the notion that I had the power to just produce whatever I wanted and have it air is completely false. Okay. There were many, many levels of scrutiny. Okay, we had executive. You still did it. It was your idea. You spearheaded it. What are we doing, T-Bow? Ah, T-Bow. T-Bow. Bagel on a stick. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about wardrobe. I'm talking about makeup, sound, sets, dialogue, jokes, everything. Now, when you say approval, these obviously that's a hierarchy, not your colleagues no, right. or people in the room. Okay. No, no, not my colleagues. Bro. No, these are my bosses. Yeah, you bosses, are completely on T-Bow, bro. Their bosses. And they're approving all of this stuff. Okay. Okay. And those people just allowed it to happen. Don't get me wrong. It's fucked up that they allowed it, but you still did it. It doesn't change the fact that you're yeah. the one responsible. That's like killing somebody and then being like, but the government, let me get away with it. Yeah. Multiple times. Like, sure. You're still a piece of shit, bro. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're getting at. Tebow. Mm -hmm. spoke about a wage discrepancy. I know. Yes. I, I care about this. Out salaries. Talk to me about that part. Well, you're correct. I have nothing to do with paying writers. I never have. I've never made a writer's deal. And of all the writers I've been in the writer's room with, I never even knew how much most of them were getting paid. The female writers on staff were forced to split their salary. <laughs> what the what? fuck? What? And were threatened by Schneider for reporting the matter to the Writers Guild. Additionally, Kilgan claims that when she returned as writer for season two, she was offered a contract that forced her to work 11 weeks unpaid. Bro, the writers what? also claim to have been coerced into a sexually exploitative and misogynistic work culture. Oh, I'm getting pissed off. We're talking about you making female writers split pay and you making them sign contracts where they don't get paid for weeks. Yeah. That's that's not practical jokes anymore. And making somebody massage you is not a joke. Snyder stated my, that women are not funny, showed pornography on his screen, and asked Kilgan to massage him. Behavior he would become... Oh, no this is the massage video. On all of his sets. 
but it's all of his sets. According to Kelgan, Schneider would present it as a joking quid pro quo. Can you please give me a massage? I'll put one of your sketches in the show. He looks made of clay. Pretty strong apology. Let's talk about the massages. Okay. Watching the content yesterday, it was disturbing. It was wrong. It was wrong that I ever put anybody in that position. Was that Schneider allegedly told Stratton, who was discussing the topic of high school, that it would be funnier if she leaned over the table and acted like she was being sodomized and told that story about high school. Uh, but she didn't want to talk about it in detail. Stratton turned Schneider down until he begged to the point where Stratton couldn't get out of it. What? So it doesn't That's even feel like happening. you're not even like it doesn't feel like you're really recanting reality. It feels like you're kind of just saying the 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 thing that you could say that like people who haven't watched the show, if they were to see this, would be like, oh, maybe he didn't do anything wrong. Another thing, why are your comments off? Why? Wait, what's so? If you know oh, you shit. fucked up, I didn't even see that. Then my point is, point if you were really one. sorry, bro, I think you would let people share their feelings on the subject. Someone who's sorry doesn't stop victims from having an opinion. Okay, I would like to speak to those people because I hate that anybody worked for me and didn't have a good time. You know me, you've been on my sets. Um, look, I've had some employees that have worked for me for 10 years, some more than 20 years, who would work with me again, but um, not everybody. Hey, bagel still on a stick guy, uh, I'm on the fence that you might work. be a bitch, just so you know, because, um, you make it sound like it's not public information to that he's like been paying women differently, that he massage somebody massaged him because he made a joke about multiple, like multiple. No, this was an ongoing joke. He got multiple massages from different people on different sets. Yeah, but this other guy Peck, he is a charged predator, um, and apparently he was raping Drake Bell regularly. Which is very unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty fucking gross. And his and Drake Bell's mom had him sleeping over at this guy's place because it was easier for him to get to auditions. Really horrifying stuff, man. I'm not gonna lie though. Although that's awful, Drake Bell himself is a predator. I'm not sweeping that shit under the rug. Yeah, he, he just dropped a song, um, like singing about how he knows what he did was wrong, but he's gonna make it right. Bro had multiple minor girlfriends, cheated on his adult girlfriend with kids, had sexual relationships with kids, and he pled guilty. At, at to the this. very least, he pled guilty to uh, like inappropriate lewd, texts with a minor. Yeah, lewd messages with. But minors. the minor spoke out, and what they said was far worse than inappropriate. Bro, he just took the best plea he could get. I think so too. I'm good with words like you are, and this nigga's crying. This nigga's crying. I can't no this way. Shit, bro. Is he about to fake cry right now, bro? This is <laughs> bro, smash a jar over this nigga's head, this bro. This is I crazy. Nah, bro. This is ridiculous. Y'all see this guy tearing up? No <laughs> way. <laughs> oh my god, I'm mad. Yeah, that was probably the darkest part of my career. And this is the darkest part of your career, bro. <laughs> This acting you doing ain't getting you nowhere, bro. I promise. No sympathy. This shit is crazy, bro. What the fuck was that? Not a single tear fell from his eye. His eyes aren't watery from what I can see. <laughs> bro, shook his voice a little bit and called it a day. I'm over this, bro. Yeah, thanks for watching the video version of this. We did a live stream for it, and, uh, you know, it was pretty fun. We're probably going to do more of them. Uh, I don't know. I don't yeah, turn on your turn on your notifications, bro. Next time we go live, you might be able to catch us. Yeah. Pop in our chat, make some jokes. Maybe you'll make the video like Danya did this time. Yeah. Short, short end of things. Um, Dan Schneider, you still a piece of garbage. That's why your uh, comment section is disabled. You are a chump. Your view to like ratio is very indicative of how everybody feels about this. Check out our Patreon. We did a whole iCarly episode on there. But I play every character except Gibby. <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck do I get Gibby? I think we know why you're Gibby. I uh, know, right, actually. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure you leave in the comments why words Gibby. Wow. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. I'm, I can't read. I can't wait to read those comments. <laughs> yeah. uh, I got Pierre in this bitch. Yeah. I got these hoes in this bitch. Yeah. Carrots, they all in my ear.